previous video where I talked about making connections between different readings, I showed you one of two ways to transclude text in RemNote. In this video, I'm going to show you the second way of transluding text. So the way to transclude text that I showed you in the previous video involved copying the rem reference and then pasting it where you want the transcluded text to appear. The particular workflow I showed you involved using some shift clicking to open documents side by side in RemNote. So you can see here I had my connection note and initially I just indicated that there was a connection I was making between this passage in On the Shortness of Life and something in Seneca's second letter to Lucilius. And so I held down the shift key and at the same time clicked on this to open it side by side and then I copied the rem reference to the particular paragraph that I wanted to transclude. Now one problem or disadvantage of copying the rem reference the way I did in the previous video, at least when you're using this side-by-side -side approach, is that you often have to adjust the width of these documents in order to disclose the three dots that you would need to click on in order to copy the rem reference. And still, I am not able to get there. There, finally, I see the three dots that I can click on, and then I could go down and copy the rem reference, and then go over to where I want that rem reference to appear, or that transcluded text, and simply paste it. An alternative to copying the rem reference the way I just did is to instead use the double left square brackets and then simply start typing the first few words in whatever block it is that you want to copy over. And then when the passage that you want to transclude is highlighted, simply hit return and the transclusion occurs. So this is a second way of transcluding text. In many cases it might be a faster way. It avoids the problem of having to adjust the size of these documents within the web browser.